Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at ratio context part two. Uh, there is a previous video in this particular series. Have a look at it. Um, anyway, as for this video, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so what we've got here is, um, let's just say, for example, we want to put 150 grams of something in two liters of a liquid. We want to try and figure out what is it the same as in terms for 20 liters. So we're going to write this down once again as a ratio. So we've got 150 is to 2. And then if you have a look at it, we want to try and figure out how many grams per 20 liters. So 20 liters is going to be on this side, and we want to try and figure out how many grams of this item do we need. Now, as we talked about before in these um, ratio questions, is that um, if you look at 2, you're multiplying 2 to get by 10 to get to 20. That means you've got to do the same thing on the other side. So you've got 150 times 10, which is going to give us 1,500 grams. So 1,500 grams per 20 liters of whatever this liquid is. And so looking at question two, we've got 450 to 6. And we want to convert that 6 into a 30. And we want to try and figure out how many of these grams is going to be for that. Now looking at uh, 6, we're multiplying 6 by 5 to get to 30, which means we've got to do 450 times 5 to get the actual grams. Uh, and of course, I'm just going to kind of use the calculator here. Uh, 450 times 5 is going to give us 2,250, and that's going to be the number of grams per 30 liters. And finally, having a look at 90 grams in 1.5 liters. So we're going to write that down. 90 is to 1.5. And we want to try and figure out um, how many grams we're going to need for 15 liters. So the first thing is like, again, trying to work out uh, what number do I need to multiply by 1.5 to get to 15. So I can just go 15 divided by 1.5. And that's going to give me 10. So I'm doing 1.5 times 10 to get to 15, which means I've got to do 90 times 10 to get the actual amount of grams that's going to go for 15 liters. So in this case, that's going to be 900. So as you can see, this is pretty similar to what we did in the previous video. Um, any anytime you want to actually look at a you have a ratio and you want to find like, um, I don't know, the extended quantities or however you you may want to call it, uh, find how much something is increasing by and then make sure you apply that same rule to the other side of the ratio equation and you should be good to go. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision. And as always, thank you for watching.